Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on modeling, texturing and lighting a coffee exhibition stall in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we are going to start with a coffee exhibition stall. So let's go into file, view image file. Let's open up a reference over here. So I'll just open up a reference. So I have a reference of this coffee stall exhibition. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. I'll just take up a plane. If I go up with the dimensions, if you have a CAD file, you can definitely go up with the dimensions. So I'm going to model this on a free scale over here. So very first of all, let's go over here. Let's take a box over here. So convert to editable poly. Select this edges. Let's give connect. Let's click OK. Slightly just push this up. Select the polygons and slightly give a bit of extrude by local normal and let's click OK. So now again I'll select this convert to editable poly So let's go over here. Let's take a box. I'll go to the top view. Let's take a box. So I'll just shuffle this up a bit. Slightly increase its height. Now, I'll duplicate this over here. So let's just duplicate it. Press shift and drag. And how many copies you need, you can just take that many copies. I'll just select this, this, and I'll just delete this stuff. So if you feel that uh, these are too many copies, I'll just give some space you can slightly give some space over here okay that's better and i'll just delete this over here now again i'll go over here let's take a copy of it drag it down Slightly, I'll increase the length and width over here. I'll just give any color to it. So, convert to editable poly. If you want, I can slightly increase this more over here. So we can just take some more copies over here. That can be done. So select this. Shuffle it up, 
shift and duplicate it right over here and now uh, let me save this first let's save this file and now I'll just attach it so let's just attach this two over here so select this polygons let's select this polygons and this polygons and let's bridge this so I can easily bridge this all together over here and now slightly I'll shuffle it a bit inside so if you want you can still push this more up over here in this way I can shift this more up till here and I'll scale it till up over here in this way. Now what I can do over here is like again I'll go over here I'll select this I'll slightly push it over here in front so select this and slightly push this up so that can be done And now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into this side view okay uh, now select this polygons select this polygons and slightly give a bit of extrude select this select this polygons and slightly give a bit of extrude and click ok now let's go into the side view over here and let's take a line so I'll just drag a line till here I'll drag this line till here go into the rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangular slightly push this up Okay, I'll slightly increase its width also if required. All right. Now I'll go over here, I'll drag this till here. Slightly, we can increase its length a bit and let's keep some space and let's make some copies of it so we can just duplicate this how many copies are required we can assign those 
copies over here. Now what we can do over here is like let's go into the side we can do some kind of uh, details over here if required so I can just select this vertices I'll just scale it select the polygons and extrude by local normal again extrude by local normal so although this is not going to be visible we'll just keep it over here that's totally okay now let's take a box over here so I'll just take a box till here so this is what the height we are going to define over here for that now into that I'll convert to editable poly I'll select the vertices slightly I'll just push this up select the polygons slightly give inset and isolate extrude it down till here I think uh, this is very very high I think we'll uh, slightly insert it very less this much is okay and I'll just again and isolate this this is okay so again go over here let's put one swift loop over here okay before that I'll just save the file over here okay so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial